family TV show called Arewa African Kitchen. It's all about the Northern food. Yes, it's a cooking show and it's all about the Aousa food. On this show, you will see different kind of dishes that we will show you how to make this food, how to cook this food. You don't have to be an Aousa, you don't have to be a Northerner to cook this food or to want to eat such food. I'll catch you later. Arewa African Kitchen Tomatoes reduce heart disease Tomato provides the body with natural vitamins and minerals Hey. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Thierry Mendori Simeon and we are on Arewa African Kitchen. Salamotu. My salamotu. Want to cook another food for me? You want to know the food we are cooking today? Okay, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Do you like your culture? Do you love everything about your culture? Do you love your food? I love my food. I'm proud of my culture. I'm proud of my country, Nigeria. Yes! And it's all about the Nottingham food. The healthy food. The nutritious food. The food that gives you all the energy, all the love, all the glowing skin. You know, that's all about what we're here for. Sit back and let's hear what we are cooking. So what are we cooking today? We have Danwake and Kunusania. Danwake is Danwake and Kunusania. Whoa. The Kunu I know is like a drink. Yes, but it's not drink. It's mm -hmm. different. It's different from Kunusania. It's very different. It's different from the normal Kunu Kunuzaki. So okay. This, yes. The the Kunuzaki is the drink. Yes, and this one is almost is almost the same, but it's different. Oh right. All right. You see, you always learn from every single food you see on this program. Trust me now. And from there, you learn to cook for your husband. You can't say you might get married to a Nottana or to an Aosa person or even somebody that loves eating Aosa food. I mean, this is the reason why we are here. Okay, sit back and relax to hear, learn what we're cooking today. What are we cooking today? We are cooking Danwake Kunu Tanya. Kunu Tanya. Yes. Okay, now, the Kunu I know is a drink. Yes, and this one is very different from Kunuzaki, Kunuzania, this is Kunuzania. Okay, so the Kunuzaki is a drink. Yes. Now, this is not there. Uh, yes. Okay. And then um, Danwake is Danwake. Okay, so what are we cooking with the Danwake and what are we cooking with the Kunuzania? Okay, this Gari Danwake. Gari Danwake. Oh, that's what they call it? Yes. Okay. And this is Granot Way. Okay. This is... Onion, onion. my salt. So, after doing everything, you after cooking down my cake, you take you take your um, granite oil, you put, uh, carry small small onion, add it to it, add it, yes, you add to granite oil. Okay, take my he said, you are only one or two people, you just use one knife. Okay. You take small pieces, add the salt. Salt, yes, you add it. After doing everything. 
So the kunosamia, what the ingredients are used? Okay, so this kunosamia, we just use only for only this garlic. After this garlic, after sugar, this samia. Okay, this and kiliki yes. yes. All right, just add it to the show. Yes, you don't make your thing. Okay, wow. You see, my people, this is just an amazing TV show where you learn a lot of things. A lot of people will say, ah, I know how to do this one, I know how to do that one. But at the end of the day, it might not be like the way they do it in their own state. And you will always learn that here, free of charge. It's just for you to watch and learn. And watch me eat, you know, how are we? I'll catch you. Um, I will leave you to cook. My normal way, I'll come back and eat later, later. No so I'll leave you with my cook while I go exercise. I need to come back and eat. If you're not here, you're missing. I'll catch you later. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure all wires, cords and plugs on your appliances are not frayed and that the plugs have three prong grounded connections. This will include coffee makers, toasters, blenders, microwave, mixers, etc. Don't use extension cords. You can obtain a junction box that has built-in GFI ground fault interrupters this will allow you extra plug-in space and the gfi will kick in if there is a power shortage helps avoid water or electrical shock accidents Get rid of any appliances that is broken or damaged. New ones are very inexpensive these days. If a new one will bust your budget, try garage and tag sales. Just make sure you are not buying somebody else broken appliance. Wash your hands thoroughly. Viewers, I salute you. Today we are making millet mold, which is called Danwaki. Do you know? what Dan Wake is if you do not know or have any idea about it just sit down and listen I have my boiling water ready and the content I'm holding is the grounded guinea corn cooker and a little salt I've mixed it up already. Make sure your water is boiling before using it. Make sure your water is boiling before using it. If not, it won't form well. You can see the way I'm molding it. You have to let it stay on fire for a long time to avoid it being half done. So cover up your pots. After a few minutes, open it to check if it is okay. You 
can see that the color is changing so pack it out and rinse it in cool water you have to rinse it well I have the pot on fire, dried and hot. Add your granite oil, then fry your onions. Make use of little oil. Allow it to heat up for some few seconds. You don't need to add up anything immediately you pour your oil on fire. Just allow it to heat up. Then add your onions. Then add your onions and fry for a few minutes. Then the next thing is pepper. You can make use of dry grounded pepper, but I prefer the fresh one. I prefer the fresh one. I allow the pepper to fry, don't just bring it out after applying it. This water is for the preparation of kunu tamia, which is powdered guinean corn. On. So mix the powder with the water and pour it on fire. Keep stirring and then cover it up. I've already added my sugar. It won't be nice.
advised to have particles of sugar in your mouth so add your sugar while the content is on fire and then add the tamia which is sour so you have our kunu tamia ready to be served Don't leave the kitchen with pots and pans cooking on the stove. Make sure to turn off burner as soon as you take the pots off. Avoid wearing appropriate clothes while cooking. That means loose sleeves and sweaters. Dish towels, pot holders, and oven meats away from the stove. If using candles in the kitchen, don't leave the room or home while they are burning. Make sure they are in a safe place. Don't like it, that kuno find me up. Tomatoes improve digestion and prevent constipation. Tomatoes prevent kidney and gallbladder stones. Tomatoes keep skin and hair healthy. Tomatoes help maintain healthy bones. Tomatoes strengthens immune system. Tomatoes reduces blood clots. Tomatoes increases your body's capacity to burn fat. Tomatoes prevent stroke. Tomatoes is good for diabetics. Tomatoes reduces breast cancer. Don't like it, that Kuno sign me up. I'm a larger model, Fatima Funshua model. I'm a consultant nutritionist dietitian. I work at Military Hospital Ikoi, Lagos. This profession itself is a noble profession because uh, everybody working as far as life is concerned, we are not searching for anything but food. But when we talk of food professionally, we are talking of healthy food, not just eating. This kunun, Samia and the wake, you will see it's long. 
but it's so short. It's what you know. Kuno is very, very, very common. You buy it, you drink it. Your kuno can be made from millet, from any form of grain, and you have spices to it. But the, 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 the wanke we are talking about, anything wanke, you are talking of beans. And you have your boiled beans. In most cases, you make even beans porridge. And at the end of the day, when you take this with it, automatically, you are adding all the basic nutrients and bringing them together and they bond together and make sure they give the right nutrients into your body. Guinea corn. Guinea corn is very predominant in the north. So it's what you have within your own locality that will determine the stable food you face or you eat. And this itself is also can be used as a winning food for our babies, then to adults. And I haven't said that you had sugar to eat, you had cooker, you had so many things to eat. In fact, I, I think it depends on an individual what you want to add to these dishes. But we are giving you this specific one so that your taste will not be just one way. Your taste can be diversified. And at the end of the day, you enjoy what you are eating. All right, thank you for still being with us. And in case you're just joining us, this is another episode of this program, Arewa African Kitchen. Um, apart from the cooking and all the paparazzi in the kitchen, we have the final spots here, where my good friend is going to test the food and tell us how it tastes. Trust me, it's all about neatness, it's all about hygiene, it's all about everything. Think about everything, you can have it. Try something new. Just do something at home. You've watched the way it's been prepared. You've watched the way everything has been done in the kitchen by Salamatu. So just try something new. If you've not eaten it before, if you've not seen it before, this is an Hausa food, a Northern food, an Arewa food. So try something new. Try something different. Just see how it tastes. And I'm very sure you will like it. You can get back to me and tell me how it feels and how it tastes. You're still on this program, Arewa African Kitchen. And I'm your host. Fatima Lale.